Hello, my Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. My name is Psychic Gigi. I'm going to be doing a general mini love reading. Please like, share, and subscribe. Okay, let's do one. Um, I'm going to jump right into your reading. Um, I am a little late. This is for um, October 17th through October 31st, 2019. Okay, so I guess there's an attraction. I feel like some of you are dealing with somebody that you're very attracted to. Um, and you're also enjoying the moment. Let's put that there. Um, fully. So you're definitely being um, mindful of what's going on around you right now, my Sagittarians. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right in. The first card that I have for you guys is the Ace of Wands, upright. So some of you are going to be um, starting a new chapter, um, bringing like a new lease in around your current relationship or trying to um, kind of move forward and start like a stronger, more commitments, more balanced um, relationship. The next card that I have is the judgment reversed again. Guys, I feel like some of you might be avoiding making a decision in around your relationship. So you, there is some doubt and there's a decision that needs to be made in order for the relationship to move forward. So whether you're going to end the relationship or because you have this new beginning in and around you or um, you and your partner might be too a little bit judgmental. But one of the things that I get is this, like if you feel your, your partner is not your current partner or maybe somebody from your past is not being very honest with you, don't jump into conclusions. Make sure that you do have your facts before you rush in, before making a decision, before ending the relationship or continuing to move forward. This also could represent some third parties. There might be some malicious gossip or something that just feels very uncomfortable. Um, and, and it is, I feel like it's kind of in the background. So just be mindful of that. And the next card that I have is the Four of Cups upright. So the Four of Cups is, again, not being very satisfied. Maybe um, you and or your partner have made some um, mistakes in the past and you're kind of focusing more on what's missing in your love life instead of like what's right in front of you, which, could, which again, is this Ace of Wands. This could be a new beginning, a new opportunity. Um, but I also... Um, one, what you, my Sagittarian, don't stay complacent, okay? Because life is not just to do the everyday mundane, going through, blah, blah, blah. I mean, there is, you know, excitement and fun. We have to live each day to its fullest. The next card that I have is the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords reversed. So with the Ten of Swords reversed, again, you might be coming back from a brink of a relationship that didn't work out. And I feel like some of you are a little bit guarded. This relationship was not healthy for you, um, this past relationship, if some of you are moving forward. But it does, it, it is saying to be aware, don't, um, don't, I, I guess with this card I want to say is, oh, try to overcome this negative thinking that you might have because um, the energy is there and I feel like a lot of you are starting to do a little evaluation, do some soul searching, but you're ready to overcome whether you're in a current relationship or overcome releasing some energy from your past relationship. The next part I have is strength. So again, this is about mastering your emotions. Um, so after you go through this kind of period of like, oh, I, I, you know, I had this, I had this, by the way, there is something right in front of me. I feel like a lot of you are going to be regaining that strength and you're going to like, you're going to be brave. You're going to like actually start believing in yourself, feeling better about yourself. Um, and also moving forward, whether it's in your current relationship or a previous relationship, like you're going to make it happen. Um, because you do have that strength on your side. So the next card I have is the Eight of Cups Reverse. So with the Eight of Cups Reverse, I'm going to tell you, again, the relationship from your past or if you're currently in it has been stagnated. So you definitely need to bring out that spice and pull more um, positive energy into it. So our thought patterns need definitely need to change, and I feel like you guys have the strength to do it. But the other um, thing I'm getting with... 
the Eight of Cups, is if you're unwilling, if you're unhappy in a relationship, don't hold back out of fear. Let it go. Because they're definitely, the, you know, the universe is definitely saying there's something new. We started it off with something new. There's an attraction there with our love romance card. And I feel like some of you are dealing with somebody who is not mature. So I have at the bottom of the deck the Emperor Reverse. And this represents, again, somebody is a little bit imbalanced with the, in around the relationship. They might be wanting to have more control or power, but you're strong. You're like, no way, uh-uh, I'm, I'm not having that. But I also feel it could be, um, as a result of their behavior, you might be feeling a little bit trapped. So make sure that you release those attachments if needed, but definitely try to bring the balance and structure back into your relationship because if you are dealing with somebody who has these controlling issues, I mean, they're, they're control freaks, so I'm not going to sit here and lie, but there is a need for compromise and around the relationship, whether it's new, old, it doesn't even matter. Um, you want to, again, don't go back to that four of cups, you want to make some changes in around the relationship. And in order to do that, you're going to have to um, compromise or put an end to any type of destructive pattern. So whether it's you or your partner, if you feel like you're repeating patterns, um, definitely put an end to it. And this person can also, this also represents somebody not being very committed. So they have a lack of commitment um, or they fear commitment, and this could be, again, from their past, and I feel like this is way past energy that they need to release on their own, and even though you're strong, but use your strength to set the boundaries. Okay, Sagittarius, thank you so much for watching. If you would like a personal, more in-depth reading with me, my information is listed below, as you know the drill. Please like, share, and subscribe. Love and light to everyone.